Hello and welcome to my kitchen at home. Now today it is still summer. I can't even believe it. If you're British then you'll know that summer never ever lasts this long. Uh, we've had probably about three or four weeks straight sunshine uh, with the occasional scattered showers. Um, so I am loving it and my garden looks amazing and everything's really pretty and I wanted to do a cupcake which kind of reflects this beautiful summertime um, and I'm going to be doing raspberry lemonade cupcakes which are really easy and really tasty and they're going to look so cute as well. So very simple to start, I'm going to just do my regular cupcake recipe. So I've got a sieve here and I'm going to put 125 grams of self-raising flour into that along with 125 grams of caster sugar and then I'm going to Boost that a little bit with a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And now I'm going to add my butter and that's also 125 grams and it's nice and soft. It's really hard to keep butter the, exactly the right consistency in this heat. Uh, I know a lot of you guys live in very hot countries and you're often asking me how to you know, get my butter right or get the buttercream to work because your butter's so soft. If it's too soft, um, the buttercream's not going to work and also the cupcakes, they tend to, if the butter's too soft, they tend to split away from the cases and sometimes they sink quite badly. So it is important to get it, the butter to a nice kind of squeezable soft consistency rather than like floppy and melty. Anywho, I've got my butter and my dry ingredients here. I'm also going to add just the zest of half a lemon. And that's just going to go onto the mixer and I'm going to add two large free range eggs as well and just get it mixing pretty quickly. Um, if you let eggs sit on the sugar for too long, the sugar tends to cook the egg yolks and that's when you get little like orange lumps in your sponge. You don't want that. So get it mixing right away. Just mix that for about a minute until it's all come together nicely. Nice, so that's ready, but it's not quite finished yet because I'm gonna add a raspberry ripple to this. Uh, I've done this many times before. It is so effective and so tasty as well. Um, I've done a raspberry goo because obviously this is gonna be a raspberry and lemonade cupcake. Um, if you want to see how to make raspberry goo, I will put a link to that in the description box below or even on screen. See how we go. <laughs> but for now, um, it's here. I've, I made like a half batch and it's really kind of thick and jammy. So to ripple it, what you do is you grab a spoon of it and just kind of drop it in like so. And then as you know, I like to distribute my batter with spoons and, and this is where spoons really have the edge over piping bags because I can now kind of roughly mix this in without it really mixing in thoroughly um, so that I get little pockets of raspberry jam in my batter um, making the raspberry ripple. It's so good and so effective. And now these just need to be baked at 170 degrees C for 20 to 22 minutes until they're nice and springy on the top. And I'm back and my cakes have come out of the oven and they're looking mighty ripply. They look really good and they smell great. And they're just cooling down now while I get on with making the buttercream. And the buttercream is going to be two different flavours. I'm going to do half of it raspberry flavour and half of it a kind of lemonade flavour. And obviously the obvious thing to do would be to put lemon in that and I will do that. <laughs> but to give it a lemony boost and kind of make it sort of, it's not fizzy, but it will give you a, a kind of lemonade buzz. I'm actually going to be adding citric acid. Now citric acid you can buy online from specialist food stores. Um, make sure that it's a food safe citric acid. Um, sometimes you can get, them from, get it from chemists um, if you're lucky. Uh, but I just googled food safe citric acid or food grade citric acid and um, came up with loads of results so I got myself some of that and it looks exactly the same as caster sugar so please do not decant it into a unmarked tub um, and then try and bake a cake with it because it's going to be pretty disgusting. Um, it's really really sour like super duper sour like even the couple of grains is like oh I love it. <laughs> Any hoodles I've got my um, butter already in my bowl I've got 200 grams of that it's nice and soft I'm going to put it on a medium to high speed and beat it for about five minutes until it's really pale and fluffy. Uh, 
Now that's been going for about five minutes now and it's lovely and pale so now I'm going to add my icing sugar and I've got 450 grams of icing sugar which I've already sifted and as usual I'm going to add it in two stages beating for about five minutes in between each one. Right, so that's my butter and my sugar mixed together. Um, normally, at this point, I would just sling my liquid, be it milk or lemon juice, straight into this bowl. But because I'm doing two different flavours and I'm going to use two different liquids, I am now going to divide this batch into two bowls and deal with them accordingly. <laughs> and you can measure this if you want, if you wanted to weigh exactly the right amount out. I'm just going to guess it with my amazing guesswork skills. And I have on one side my raspberry goo, and on the other side I have some lemon juice, my citric acid, and some yellow food colouring. So for the raspberry one, I'm going to start by adding just a couple of dollops to the mixture. Probably about one and a half to two tablespoons, I'll, I'll wager. Um, and I'm going to mix that together thoroughly, and if I need to loosen it up, I'll either use a bit more of the raspberry goo or, and or, a little bit of milk, uh, just to give it a nice kind of silky texture. But as you can see, oh my goodness, and that's just one of my favourite things in the world to do, uh, is to mix raspberry goo into anything really, because it just is such a lovely colour. And of course, you want to make sure it tastes raspberry -y. Mmm, yummy. That does. So that's ready to roll. Now I'm going to turn my attention to the lemon, lemonade flavour bit. So I've got about one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to start by adding that. I might just hold a little bit back, as it is quite warm today. My buttercream's already quite soft, so I don't want to go crazy. And I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of citric acid. That is not very much. This is very, very potent stuff. So I'm going to start with that and give that a really good mix as well. And once it's all mixed in, you can then add a little bit of yellow food colouring. Not much, I don't want this to be like fluorescent yellow or anything, I just want a little bit of pale yellowness, just to kind of give the viewer <laughs> um, a clue of what flavour it is. Now this is where you want to start tasting as well to make sure you've got enough of what you need. Mmm. Oh yeah, so the citric acid is giving it a really nice, um, well, sour flavour. It's not lemony citric acid, it's just got that su super duper sourness. You'll get it on like um, sour sweets, which are my favourite sweets by the way. Uh, that's the thing that makes you wince, um, and that is just right. I would be very careful not to add any more, um, unless you are really gagging for a sour treat, because it, it can be a little bit unpleasant if you put too much in. Um, so that's my two lovely, beautifully coloured, beautiful tasting buttercreams. Uh, I'm just going to clear the decks and get everything I need ready for decoration. I've got all my bits and pieces ready to go. I've got my cakes, they're lovely and cool. I have a bit of leftover raspberry goo, so I'm just gonna use that to fill my cakes. Um, but I'm not gonna use my apple cora this time because I haven't actually got that much. So I'm actually instead gonna just stab them in the middle with the, this um, pastry brush because it'll make up less room. So then I won't run out of this stuff. Um, and I've also got my buttercream already in a piping bag, both flavors lay it up together and if you want to see how to do that then I'll put a link to my mermaid video and you can check that out you'll see how I layer up the colours in the piping bag I've also got some little slices of lemon uh, some freeze-dried raspberries and the cutest bit which is a little tiny paper pink and white stripy straw um, just to really finish this look off
And there is the finished raspberry lemonade cupcake, which just looks so yummy. And you know, it's definitely not gonna be as refreshing as a real raspberry lemonade on a hot sunny day like this, but it is gonna give you that summer vibe because it's got lovely raspberries and that zingy lemon and the citric acid. In the meantime, if you liked my oven gloves or my uh, tea towel, it's back here, then please go and check out my website, cupcakegemma.com, to go and investigate all the lovely merch that I have. Um, these things, along with badges and key rings and mugs, loads of really cool stuff. You can also get copies of my book. You can also get signed copies of my book. So if you can't get to London to get me to actually sign them um, in the shop, then you can order one and I will sign it for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you enjoy this heat. I am gonna just now like remove like half of my clothing and just sit and be cool and eat this cupcake um, and maybe even just sit in the cold bath. I wish I had a paddling pool. Anyway, <laughs> I'll be back next week with another recipe, so I'll see you then. Bye.